how much of a slowdown are you seeing in those markets where there's a supply shortage? We're not really seeing much of much of a market, uh, much of a slowdown in the market. I mean, uh, I know you mentioned California. I don't think that's slowed down at all. Um, a couple of the very hot markets like Palm Beach, you see a little bit because there's no inventory. But as prices move up, that brings inventory into the market. So I'm not really worried about that at this point. One of the dynamics I'm very interested to watch in New York City especially is the low levels of office return, but the strong residential demand we're still seeing. And sometimes I wonder if Manhattan will continue to move towards being a residential, almost a bedroom community. You know, you have all the amenities, you have all the attractions. Maybe people don't need to go into the office, but they still want to live there. Yeah, I think that's true. I mean, people people gravitate to New York City. New York City is, is a fantastic city. Uh, we're very bullish on it. We had a very big year in New York City, uh, over a billion dollars a month for the whole year. And uh, so that's 12, 12 and a half, 13 billion dollars in the city. And I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the general pickup. Prices were a little bit lower in the beginning. They started to come coming up higher now. And uh, I think that with the change in the mayor, I think that's a very bullish sign to pretty much everyone in New York City. In what way? Well, you know, one of the big negatives still is crime, homelessness, uh, violence on the streets. And I think that uh, Eric Adams is the right guy to uh, get into that and make sure that uh, we start reducing the rates of crime. And uh, I think that he will be able to reduce it, hopefully quick enough to keep everyone happy, but in any event, we'll be headed in the right direction. On the issue of interest rates, which are on the rise to start off the year, a lot of real estate investors are a little nervous about whether that could dent their returns this year. What would you tell them? Well, as it, rela as it relates to residential real estate for buyers, when they see interest rates starting to go up, it's still very low. This is when they come into the market full force because they're afraid of where they will end up being if they wait too long and maybe not be able to afford to purchase the home or apartment that they're interested in. So I'm not worried about interest rates. They're still historically very low. If they if they go up a little bit, that's not going to be a problem. All right, we got to go, Howard. But what would you say is the single hottest market that you're involved with right now? Well, New York City, New York City for sure. And I'd say yeah, New York City, Palm Beach, and Miami. And there you I'm, have it. Feel free to add. <laughs> Well, some of the smaller markets, the Hamptons is very strong. Aspen, Colorado is very strong. Uh, uh, Beverly Hills is very strong. So there are a lot of markets, a lot oh, of markets out all there. Right. We, we'll see what 2022 has in store. Howard Lorber, thanks for your time today. My pleasure.